everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. Here you can find everything you need to learn English. In today's video, I am going to teach you many new words that are very useful for summer. I know, I love me a summer day and a sunny day. This is like the best. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos. First, we are going to start with the quiz. I'm gonna give you 10 essential objects and you need to name them. Then, I am going to teach you some activities, but you will help me rate them. Which one is the most fun? Which one you would like to take part in? And last, I'm going to teach you three idioms that are related to summer and their meaning. And one of them is interesting. Like, for example, do you know what a cold day in July means? Stay tuned and let's get started. You've got three seconds to guess the name of each object. Let's get started. What is this? Sunscreen. What are these? Flip flops. Good. What is this? A sunbed. Super. And this? A water slide. And this? By the way, ice cream would be not the correct answer. A popsicle. And this? A swing. How about this? A fan. This? A frisbee. Very good. How about these? Sunglasses. Yeah, that was an easy one. And last, A water noodle. I love them. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, send it to a friend and see how well they scored on the quiz. Next, I am going to explain to you a couple of summer activities. We start with the first one that is. Okay, so what is this part called? Yeah. This is the sand. On a beach, there is sand. There's water, right? Waves and sand. And what you can do is you bring your little toys, your small shovel and build a castle. Do you like this activity? Next is for the less active ones is this. Imagine, it's sunny, you just had some food, watermelon, and then you're going to... take a nap in... Do you know what this is called? Do you know what this is called? It's a hammock. <laughs> Next activity is more for the nighttime. So, this is for... Um, summer days when it's really warm and you can watch a movie but not go to the movies rather yeah like a like in a parking lot or a space this is called drive-in movies so there is like a big screen you just drive and you park your car there and you can watch the movie from your car it's it's really interesting and different. Have you ever tried this? Would you like to try it? 
let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> that was a bit. Next is a more fun activity. Yes. Go into You guessed it. It's a water park. And especially if it's a themed water park. Oh my god, I honestly, okay. I don't want to, you know, influence you or affect your opinion, but this is what I personally love to do. It's so much fun, you know, getting on those slides and with your noodle and there's this adrenaline rush, you know, when something is very exciting and you're like, ah! <laughs> and then like, <gasps> yeah, but yeah, you decide which activity you like best. It doesn't have to be this one. Last activity is scout camps. So in this scout camp, um, I don't know if you're familiar with it or you whether you have it or not where you live, but uh, scout camps are mostly summer camps and uh, young people like girls or boys go to this camp and they learn new skills. Uh, mostly they do outdoor activities and so on and it's pretty fun and interesting. So, would you like to join one of these? In our last section, I am going to teach you three idioms. The first idiom is dog days. Could you guess it? Okay, I'm gonna give you another idiom that is a synonym actually. A heat wave. Dog days or heat wave, they're synonyms. They have the same meaning. Yes, so you guessed it. Heat is the noun of hot. The adjective hot, the noun is heat. And dog days or a heat wave um, is usually in July or August and when you have three or four days um, back to back and it's incredibly hot like I remember once I was in the south of Spain and it was like oh my god I think around 40 degrees for a couple of days and that was a heat wave. Next is also related to the weather a cold day in July. For example I will give you my shoes collection on a cold day in July. You probably guess the meaning. Well, it's very unlikely or it, it, it probably is almost not impossible, but this will not be the case, right? To have a cold day in July. Notice that the person who probably uh, came up with this idiom hasn't been to Germany because um, I'm recording this video in July and yesterday it was like um, I, I had a sweater on so <laughs> yeah last idiom is to travel on a shoestring um strings you, you know if you have shoes and you have to tie them you know that thing that you use that's a shoestring and if you travel on a shoestring it means that you are on a tight budget you don't have enough money or you don't have a lot of money to spend so you need to be very wise and very careful with your money thank you very much for watching this video in my next video I am teaching you some expressions with Marilyn Monroe for example slumming it nothing but and so on so please watch it and let me know if you like it take care bye